Dodge says its Nitro is its first midsize SUV, but just like the larger Dodge Durango, the Nitro straddles a line between two segments, competing with vehicles in both the compact and midsize categories. While size does matter when it comes to an SUV, we think Nitro will establish its niche with its bold, unique styling. This is an SUV that is not trying to hide its ruggedness. Hi, and welcome to our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Dodge Nitro. The Nitro offers in-your-face style plus innovative information and entertainment in a package that many can afford. We think you'll like the fact that the Dodge Nitro offers all the versatility of a typical compact midsize SUV in a bold, head-turning package. You may not like the fact that compared to many of its car-based competitors, the truck-based Nitro involves some ride and handling compromises. Because the Nitro looks so good and is so versatile, it's tempting to overlook some of its shortcomings, but there are a few. Since it is derived from the Jeep Liberty, a vehicle with real off-road credentials, it does sacrifice some ride quality and handling prowess, especially versus its car-based competitors. With the smaller V6 and 4-speed automatic, we sometimes found ourselves wishing for either more power or another gear. But for enthusiastic driving, the 260 horsepower V6, 5-speed automatic transmission and tighter suspension of the RT model produce much more satisfaction. Among our favorite features is MyGig Infotainment, an optional hard drive based system that includes navigation with real-time traffic information, music and image uploading, and Bluetooth hands-free cell phone connectivity, among other cool features. We're also fans of the load and go cargo floor that slides out 18 inches over the rear bumper and can hold up to 400 pounds. Underneath is a 4 inch deep storage bin good for storing jumper cables or hiding a laptop. The Nitro's calling card is its squared off exterior styling that is reminiscent of the much more expensive Range Rover Sport. Its inner dodgeness is exemplified by the familiar crosshair grille while the clamshell style hood and decorative side vents hint at sophistication. The base SXT model doesn't quite offer the flair of the RT, but the mid-level SLT is handsome and aggressive without going over the top. The Nitro's most novel interior feature is the available load-and-go cargo floor, but that isn't the only interior feature we like. We appreciate the reclining rear seat backs and an available fold-flat passenger seat that makes it easier to haul longer cargo or work on a laptop computer, while parked, of course. Three types of seat coverings are offered. Base cloth, available leather, and what Dodge says is an exceptionally durable and stain-resistant seat fabric called Yes Essentials. Overall, the interior styling shows a family resemblance with recent Dodge vehicles, and that's primarily a good thing, though it also includes a perceptible amount of average-grade plastics. Even in base SXT trim, the Dodge Nitro offers a commendable level of equipment. AM FM CD sound system with auxiliary input jack, air conditioning, power windows, locks and mirrors, and remote keyless entry. Also on the list of standard items are 115 volt power outlet, rear window wiper washer, cloth seats, and 16 inch wheels. Standard safety equipment includes front and front side airbags, plus an electronic stability control program that includes rollover mitigation. The highlight of the Nitro's optional equipment list is the comprehensive MyGig navigation, entertainment and communication system. With a serious hard drive, the system stores music, photos and voice messages, plus it offers USB and Bluetooth connectivity. Other key options include a 6-disc DVD audio sound system, rear seat DVD entertainment system, premium speakers, Sirius satellite radio, sunroof and leather seating. Two of the more unusual options include premium cloth seating and the outward sliding cargo floor. SXT and SLT level nitros feature a 3.7 liter V6 matched with either a 6-speed manual or 4-speed automatic transmission. The RT has an exclusive powertrain consisting of a 4 liter V6 and 5-speed auto stick transmission. Each combination is available in rear or four-wheel drive. Automatic equipped vehicles feature a full-time four-wheel drive system, while those with manual transmission have a part-time four-wheel drive. The Nitro lacks the low-range transfer case of its cousin, the Jeep Liberty, but it does offer an optional performance suspension not found on the Jeep. The Nitro's maximum towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. The Dodge Nitro starts at a manufacturer's suggested retail price of around $20,000, and with all the bells and whistles like the hard drive infotainment system, it can go well over $30,000. A fully equipped RT version has a suggested price of around $34,000. Our new car Blue Book values have reflected real-world selling prices not far below the sticker prices. 
but we suggest you check the New Car Blue Book value page to see what consumers are typically paying these days. The bold Nissan Xterra, which is also truck-based, is priced about the same as the Nitro. The car-based Chevrolet Equinox crossover SUV, which like the Nitro is larger than most compact SUVs, has a higher base price but pricing overall is similar to the Dodge. When it comes to resale value, we expect the Nitro to be comparable to the Xterra and Equinox, but not as good as the more expensive Toyota FJ Cruiser. And that's our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Dodge Nitro.